Hi everyone, it's Kevin J, the best thing since the colour blue. And you're listening to the Therapy Suite right here on UK Health Radio, the world's number one talk health radio. This week, I speak to Rich Art, aura expert. Rich Art is known as the aura expert because he insists you to become aware of your aura and learn how to clean it from negative energy. When your aura is full of positive energy and your body is a reflection of this, then you start to powerfully manifest more of what you are through the law of attraction and the law of vibration. Richard, welcome to the show. How are you doing? I'm doing absolutely perfectly. <laughs> it's great to be here. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you so much for coming on the show. I, you know, I think it's brilliant. When I heard about you, I was like, oh, gosh, you can read all of oh, Tell us a bit more about I mean, tell us, tell us uh, what about yeah. it. And, yeah, yeah, know. yeah. Well, I mean, I, I think I'll just like start from the beginning because... Um, please, please do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my, my life journey to get to this point has been very sort of... Um, uh, it, well, <laughs> it's, it's, it's been quite a journey. So, that I know, I used to have... Uh, I was working in corporate communications at head office in Amsterdam. Uh, for companies like Canon, you know, Canon Im- Imaging, you know, you know, up at the head office level, and DRGO, and you know, big FT500 companies, and um, and then and then and then my mother died, and then I had this sort of, sort of real sort of epiphany of like, is this what life is all about? And you know, at that time, I was also going through a lot of emotional health issues, um, and I think you know, as a young man, then I also wasn't really aware of how, you know, the emotions and how, you know, energy and how all this stuff, you know, affects us. And um, so, you know, I sort of went from from one minute being in, you know, working at head office level with a very good salary um, to the next minute just saying, no, I don't want to do this anymore. And I just sort of dropped out of the system. I just, I just literally, like a, like a 10-ton weight, just fell from, like, right at the top to write down, you know, where I, where I ended up living on the streets, you know, and, um, and, you know, in that time of living on the streets, I, I also got to understand, you know, my identity, you know, who I am, what do I stand for, you know, all these different things. And I got to also become aware of my aura, my vibration. So, you know, um, then I started to um, have what I would call it as a, as a calling, you know, is, is where you f- feel a very strong spiritual connection with a higher power that you're supposed to be doing something on this planet for a, for a really strong purpose, you know? And um, so I just started going to festivals and different places, and I had this thing where I could start to really sense through my peripheral visions, through my intuition, people's auras, you know, people's energy. And and I just, uh, I just gave them the T-shirt, and I would just paint onto their T-shirt, you know, what I felt. And then people would be amazed at what was, like, coming through. And, you know, and I actually did it by donation and everything. And slowly I made my way up. And then I ended up, you know, going to go and work in Ibiza and, you know, Amsterdam and going to big festivals and, you know. Um, but then, you know, moving forward, like, it wasn't really until the, the pandemic hit but then everything changed because I couldn't, you know, paint. I couldn't paint people, <laughs> you know, especially because of, you know, the COVID, you can't touch people, you know, everything. So um, so that all, you know, changed. And then I, you know, I so, so I started to look deeper into what was I actually doing, you know, what are auras, you know. And what I started to understand is, is that, you know, um, being aware of your aura is being aware of the vibration that you're giving out to people. So, you know, it, and it's not just about the color. So the color is a very tiny little aspect of, of aura awareness. And I think that in a way we've been led to believe to look at, you know, whenever people think about auras, they always think about the color and then the cut and then, and then it becomes like, woohoo. Oh, it's just, it's just a color, you know, and, and, and it gets dismissed. But actually, if you think about your aura in, in terms of energy, frequency and vibration, and you think that we are electromagnetic beings and we attract in, you know, the, the, the same as what we are. So if we are negative energy, then we are going to attract in more negative energy into our lives. You see? And this is, yeah. 
Go it's on. like, it's, I think, you know, when you, you see on social media and you see, you know, that kind of positive thinking, positive thinking brings yeah. positive things. Uh, while if we're negative, that attracts negativity. Does that go hand in hand, basically, with what you're saying? It does, but the aura awareness goes deeper because with the thinking, it's very mind based. And with the aura, it is like holistic. It's, 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 it's your whole, it's your, it's the wholeness. It's, it's all of you. So you are this electromagnetic being and that's, that's all of you. And the thing is, is that, um, you, you attract what you are. So if you are positive energy, if your, if your energy is positive, then you're going to attract in all of these, you know, um, your thoughts are going to be more, more solution based. You know, um, your feelings. Um, when, when I sit down and I, you know, like every day I have some problem that I'm trying to fix just to, just to, just to <laughs> have a normal life. Um, I sort of sit and as soon as I have a problem, instead of thinking, oh shit, I've got another problem. I just think, okay, so there's a problem. So now let's get centered. So I, I feel the energy within me. And then I'm radiating my positive energy back at the problem. And then it's almost like magic that I can start to, um, you know, just find things on websites, on, on help desks, on everything's coming to me instead of me having to like, you know, think, Oh God, where's this? And where's that? And where did you, you see what I mean? It's like, I've become the, the light source of energy, the attraction point, And then all of the information comes to me and it, and it, and, it, and it just completely changes around the whole way we are, we are navigating through life. That's why I think that it's, it's, it's more important than people actually realize. Mm, no, no, absolutely. I mean, what's the most empowering way to think about, you know, think of your aura? Yeah. I mean, I think this, this is the thing that so many people just think about auras as colors, you know, and that's why I, I just want to say that just think of your aura as energy, frequency and vibration. And, and if, if you're thinking of it on that level, then you're always going to be getting to, um, another sort of magical sort of part of you that's going to be showing up, you know, in your life. Mm-hmm. No, of course. What is aura awareness? Yeah, so aura awareness is is really like getting to the point where you realise that you have a vibration. So, um, whenever you're in a difficult situation. You know, you, you just stop, you just tune in with yourself and you say, so how am I feeling? You know, am I, am I feeling, do I feel blocked in this moment? You know, why am I feeling blocked? Um, and, and, you know, uh, uh, like, it's, am, am I angry? Am I, am I sort of, you know, you know, you know what, what am I feeling? And once you get, so the aura awareness is just being literally aware of your vibration. And then once you're aware of it, then you can start to change it. Right. Okay. Okay. There's also aura trauma as well. Yeah. Aura trauma. What, what's that? Yeah. So basically what aura trauma is, is saying is, is that we're all living in, in a, I mean, like I had a very lovely childhood, <laughs> do you know what I mean? And it was magical. My, my my parents really really did wonders. But when I left the home, I started to realise that the world wasn't quite as you know fantastic. As yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, and then I started thinking like, yeah, there's there's you know, there, there, there so many things that seem to be wrong, and and I just don't. I don't feel comfortable like, living in this world. There's something wrong, you know. And um, and as you go as you go through your sort of twenties, thirties, forties, and everything else, you realise that just how negative this world is that we're living in. You know, the real is, is there's just a very strong negative charge of energy. Um, 
you know, with it's just every day there seems to be problems, um, you know, you know, in in your relationships, in 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 everything. There's all these problems. So um, what happens is, and 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 it and it's and it's okay to admit this is that everybody has some level of trauma, whether it's emotional based or physical based, or there's something that's happened in the life which has given them then negative thinking, um, sabotage, you know, programs, um, you know, like, you know um, behaviors, you know, drinking too much, smoking too much, you know, you know, you know, having all these things which really start to impact their lives and then block them from reaching their full potential, you know, block them from, from living the life where they can have that soulmate, have that partner, um, you know, you know, have the 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 job where they where they're not connected to, you know, um, to one geographical place. You know, or they can travel, or they you know, they can really live a dream life. You know, but the trauma, the aura trauma, is the 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 programs, the conditioning that's that's in the energetic field. You know, and um, you know what I'm saying is is that. Everybody has it, so just you, you you just have to admit it and accept it, you know, and then start working on healing that trauma, because once you've healed it, then whenever you're faced with a problem, you don't go back to that old trauma. You 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 are then you you then trust in the universe. You then trust in in the power of love, you know, and. Uh, and and then you you're going to see more sort of magic miracles you know, you know things which don't make sense you no know, things that you can't sort of rationally comprehend no you know? no of course of course um we're just going to a quick ad break and we'll be right back uk health radio the station that makes you feel good The station that makes you feel good. So, Richard, I mean, did you do any reading on auras or anything like that or studying around it? You seem to know a lot about it and it seems like it's come very naturally. But did you do any, is anything, any research been done behind this? No, I mean, literally it was, I mean, this is why I call it my, my calling. Because um, I didn't, I didn't do any workshops. I didn't do, I didn't read any books. You know, I mean, if, if I read any books, they were more spiritual books. You know, like um, uh, say, like The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle, and 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 learning more about um, my spiritual growth. You know, but I'm. I, I like I'm I'm dyslexic, so I, you know I find that you know reading and all that sort of stuff isn't my preferred way of you know of of, of gaining knowledge and stuff. So I just like to go. I like to experience. So I was just going out there, you know, um, feeling people's energy, painting their auras, and in that experience, I was having so many different experiences. I was I was starting to understand like. Sometimes if, if I painted somebody that was younger than me and then and then I stood next to them and someone took a photograph just just after the painting, we would we would both look really young. So so my my the age in my energy would go younger because I'd been painting this person, you know? And I started to realise just how the auras, the energy starts to affect each other, you know. From literally having hands-on experience, rather than than you know going on courses and everything else. And you said all. You, I mean, we, before the show started, we were talking about auras, and it changes in terms of your mood as well. Your mood can affect your aura, um, yeah. and you know, depending on what's going on in the situation, your emotions, and that that kind of thing. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. So that. If you're, for example, like, you know, I have terminal cancer or I've been diagnosed, put it this way, 
I've been diagnosed with terminal cancer. That's very different to me saying I have di- I have terminal cancer, you know. Um, because, you know, if, if you're feeling very unhappy or you're feeling very low, then your aura or, or the, the frequency, um, the colors and the frequency of your aura will be dull. There'll be, um, uh, there'll be a, a, like a low vibration. So there, there'll be more like, you know, deep colors of red and green and, you know, whereas, when you're really in the higher vibrations, then you're then that frequency is going to be going into, you know, the yellows, the 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 violets, you know, the you know all of those colours, and it's going to be shining, you know. So, but the thing is, is that when your vibration is shining, then it's it's then it you know you're you're also in a happier place, you know. So it, it, it's it's um. You're more confident. You're you're more optimistic. You know, you know, the, you know, you you've got all the, you've got the inner peace, and you're rising from the inner peace. You no, know? I think that's the, the. Uh, that should explain it. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I know we mentioned about oral trauma. I mean, yeah, and that is basically the first step of healing yeah. that is the first step to taking back power. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. So, so what's, you know, first of all, you've got to, first of all, is the awareness. So you've got to be aware that you have an aura. Then you've got to accept that your aura is full of negativity. You no, know, and everyone's like this, you know, then with that acceptance, you can start working on the aura trauma, you know, and there's, there's tons of different self-help things and, workshops and there's all sorts of stuff that you can go on to do that you know so i encourage you know everybody to just go and do their own research and find out what suits them best you know but being aware that you have that aura trauma and then you, you it's all about unblocking that that energy and then the next step from that is what i call is generating your aura love bubble and that is where you are aware that you've got this auric field around you, but you're cleaning it. So, so the whole, so that the energy every day from when you wake up is you do a you do a meditation. Um, I I also do stuff now where I I paint people's auras onto canvas, you know, and then they can have the canvas in their home, and then they can sit in front of the in in front of the the canvas and do like a, a meditation to tune in to this, you know, shining painting, you know, hanging on the wall. You know, it's, it's a very powerful visualization and feeling, you know, but where you want to get to is, is that you, you're at the stage where you, where you, your aura is full of love, you know, and it's clean and you're keeping it clean like every day. And, and, that's where you'll be like shining with your aura, you know, connected to the, to the higher vibrations. Brilliant. Um, brilliant. I mean, just going back to um, healing your um, aura trauma, is there any like that top line methods of doing that at all? That's maybe well, some that are people are m- maybe more familiar with or ones that are the common ones to use or the ones that people use the most. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the thing is, like, what I encourage people to do is to to use affirmations, and um, I actually discovered, like, through my through my experimentation on myself, um, actually, the way that it links it all together. So, it's the law of attraction and the law of vibration. You've got to get them working together. So, when you're vibrating in a higher vibration then you can use the law of attraction to attract what you are. If you do it the opposite way around, if you, ha- if you haven't done the aura trauma healing, then you're going to attract in more trauma. Do you see what I mean? And that's, right, right, right. that's where most people go wrong because they, they want to think positively and everything else, but they, they're, not, they're not healing the trauma and so that they're just attracting more negativity. Right, okay. So... One of the best ways to, to, to change your vibration 
is through repetition. And what I say to what I say to people is, um, so for twenty one days, you 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 choose um, some key words that you want to you want that, that are important to you. So it's like up on my wall, you know, I've got courage, um, I've got you know caring, supportiveness. You know, I've got these different key words, and um, there, there is a code called the Moses Code. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. No. Uh, it's, it's used a lot in spirituality. And it, and it is, I am that, comma, I am. And so what you do when you do affirmations, you say, I am courageous, I am, or I am caring, I am, I am loving i am so those that's that's how you phrase your affirmation and then to bring it to make it to evoke it into your aura to make it really powerful what you do is you tap on your heart chakra as you're saying this so then you're bringing your awareness into your heart which is unconditional love you know for, you know, for yourself and for, for people you know in your life and then you're saying these affirmations. And if you do these affirmations every day, 21 days, you're going to see a magnificent shift. You're going to see like a huge you know, shift in your life. And I, I, another trick is that, um, which is quite difficult to do. I, I don't know whether I can do it here. Or, but when you, when you are saying, so if I say, I am love, I am, I can make it even more powerful by using breath work. So I can say, I am love. I am. So I, I breathe in when I'm saying I am love, and I breathe out when I say I am. And that's using the breath. So then I'm using my breath, I'm using my touch, and I'm using these, this very powerful Moses code. People can Google it and find more information about it. And... Um, this this will this will bring big big change into your life. No. There's been a few shows I've done before where they mention uh, the chakras. Can you talk to us a bit more about that? Yeah, the chakras are, are really interesting because it's the energy that goes up from our 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 you know from 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 the base of our spine to the crown on our head, and. The energy that moves up, up and down, you know, it, it can also be described as a Kundalini energy. It's it's very it's very powerful energy, and when that energy moves up to the crown on our head, you know, then we connect with the with the universe. Then we connect with the higher the higher vibrations. And for men, this is very very important because. All too often, as young men, we can feel the energy moving up through our chakras, and we're not sure what it is. You no, know? um, often it's you know when it gets from the root up to the solar plexus, we we're, we're, we're very much in the um, physical plane, you know, you know, of the of the energetic being, and that's also very much connected to our sexual energy. So if, as you know, a, a lot of men you know, feel that energy and then feel that they have to release energy, you know, because of, you know, um, uh, that's where they've been conditioned. Now, if you can move that energy, if you can keep the energy within you and you can keep the energy going up to the crown of your head, then this is also what's known as the, um, the Christ rising. It's, it's, it's the Christ consciousness of this unconditional love and you keep the energy within you and that, that empowers your auric field immensely, you know? So in today's society, there's too much, and I, I'm sorry if, 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 if I might offend in any viewers here or something, but there's too much pornography, you know, and, and that is actually what's keeping people stuck and blocked. And if people can actually get to a, more of a place of focusing on love and energy of people, then they can start to rise the energy up through their chakras and they can start to reach this higher, this higher plane, you know, and, um, 
and yeah, yeah, get to a point where where they where they're living more of their sole purpose in life rather than just living. If that makes any sense. Yeah, no, no, of course it makes a lot of sense. And some of the things you mentioned there is why we should try and hold on to a higher vibration. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Are there any other ways of holding on to a high vibration? Well, I mean, you know, I think that being able to laugh. <laughs> having a laugh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, having a laugh. And not take life too seriously, you know. Um, uh, also, like, like I, I find, like, just being able to give people hugs. I mean, I mean it's, it sounds funny, but if you can give someone, like, a five-minute hug, you know, like, and that's, and that's, you know. That's a long time. Stand, <laughs> it's a long time. It's yeah. a long time. Exactly. Because most people, are, it's all so instant. It's all so quick these days. You know, so, it, and it can just be a friend. You know, just, just give a friend, you know, a five minute hug. And afterwards, you'll feel, you know, the, the, the energy of, a, of another person. You know, you feel that aura. And it, and it will affect you in a really, really positive way for the, for the rest of your day. You know? I have heard, you know, I've heard about this before, you know, funny enough. Um, where hugging someone is very good for just general mental well-being. Absolutely, totally, and also looking into people's eyes. You know, oh. you know, having that connection—it's—it's—it's it's, it's been lost. You know, but it's so simple. And I do think that we are living in a time now where society is really starting to make a split. It's starting to say, you know, am I going to live in the old way, in the old paradigm? Where I feel disconnected, separated, there's something wrong. You know, you know, you know this this doesn't feel right. Or, or am I going to trust in something new, and that's going into my heart and being more heart centered and understanding that I'm a, an energetic being, and I I have the power within me to raise my vibration and act in a different way and shine my light into this world. You know, and there are more and more people who are starting to say that's what I want. You know. No, of course, of course. We're just going to a quick, uh, another quick ad break, and we'll be right back. UK Health Radio, the station that makes you feel good. good, good. UK Health Radio, the station that makes you feel good. good. So, Richards, I mean, thanks for that. I mean, a lot of information about, you know, auras, which is brilliant and, you know, raising your vibration. But when your behavior becomes negative, how can you yeah. instantly try and shift into the higher love vibration? Um, I think the thing is, is, is that, first of all, you've got to be aware. Again, okay? you know, you've got to be aware that's negative because, um, you know, nine times out of ten, when you're – being negative, you're, you're not really aware, you know. And uh, you know, to to first of all, you've got to like go, okay, right. So, tune in with myself. Somebody said this, you know. Um, I've reacted in this way, you know. How am I feeling? Oh, you know. Actually, I'm feeling I'm feeling a little bit out of out of balance here, you know. Um, the more I try to explain this or the more, you know, whatever, it's, it, it's, it's, it's not working. So then, you know, um, um, then you want to just tune in with yourself and, and get more heart centered, you know, just, just think, okay, if I'm love, you know, if I, I, I am now radiating love, how do I react to the situation? No, because so many people will go into the trauma of their past. They'll go into the old trauma and then they'll just keep repeating, repeating, repeating. So you've really got to be very conscious of, of your vibration. And that's your, your awareness of your aura, your aura awareness. And then say, you know, I'm going to change what I'm putting out. You know, I, I'm, I'm not just going to be led by a program in my mind or a condition or, you know, of, I've been doing it for 40 years, you know, I'm going to actually change, you know, 
and and you know and and maybe you know like like at the beginning it's good just to start laughing you know when when someone does this you know and then you become aware of it you 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 start to laugh because you can't believe that it's all happening do you know what i mean and and when you laugh at a situation people will will their, their reaction will just instantly change you know I've heard about that before where laughing, smiling even, you know, yeah. uh, again, very good for your mental well-being. Um, you know, so obviously it, it, it obviously will change the aura color as well, I'm assuming. Is yeah. that right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be very, very bright, and very bright and shiny. And I think that's what's – I think that's – I just think it's time for our auras to really shine in this world, you know. I, th- I think that – we are higher dimensional beings, you know, and uh, and I think we've been conditioned into believing that we're something that we're not, you know, and uh, and I think it's, I think it's our time to shine. I really do. Mm. No, of course, of course. I think I don't want to bring it up, but I think especially since like COVID and yeah. the cost of living crisis and everything else that's been going on. I mean, it's you know, I think people could do with you know being learning different skills to become more positive, raise their vibration, you know? Yeah, totally. I mean, I think the thing, I think COVID has actually pushed people down a pathway that people have just said enough is enough. It's just like something has to change. You know what I mean? And, no, no, of course. Uh, yeah, and, and, and I think we, we all want to be having better health. You know, we want to be living longer. We want to be living, you know, we, you know it's just like, we just know that's the natural, that's the way we, we are supposed to be. And we, and loving the neighbor and, you know, like I, I've just moved into a, a lovely little new place, you know, and the neighborhood is lovely. Everybody's like really friendly and everybody wants to, to help and support each other, you know, and that is the natural state of, of humans. I, I really believe that, you know, but I think we've been conditioned by the environment that we live in to, to, to be separate, to be negative, to be all these things, you know. And I just think through aura awareness, I think that as more of us become aware of our vibration, our frequency, and we 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 will discover we have that power within us, you know, to bring in this major change. I, I this is years ago. I, was, I think I was reading about it, or someone was telling me. But if you wear, if you walk barefoot on grass. That yeah. can raise your um, vibration as well. Apparently, in because okay. it because the earth. I don't know, this is the part where it gets all complex for me, but <laughs> it's to do with the earth as well, and it kind of has a bearing on the vibration. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, because the earth has a Taurus energy coming out of it as well. That's and, right. I've heard about this. Sorry, go on. Yeah, and we have a Taurus energy coming out of us. So we are, we are connected in, intrinsically with the earth. So the more we actually... The, you know through our bodies you know connect so if we take off our you know shoes and socks and we and we walk bare feet then we are connecting with the energy of the earth you know and that's why you know just sitting in and also doing meditations and visualizing and being out in nature and you know doing all these things you know we 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 are we it, it, it's all connected everything's connected you know and, and- um yeah. Is it basically the, the Taurus energy? Is that like a sorry? It's a type of energy. Is that right? The well, well the Taurus. It, it's 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 a shape. So it's a shape like an apple. So if you cut an apple in half, you know, that's the sort of the the energetic shape that you would see coming out of the planet. And then and then with 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 the human being from the from the root chakra to the crown chakra, you get that shape, same shape. And then you also get it coming from the heart, and actually, every organ in in the in the body also has an auric field. So you know, this is the thing about the aura. The aura is also a um, an an energetic field of of integrity. So you're lying, or you're or you're going completely off center, and everything else, you will feel. In, in your in your field that something's wrong you're, you're going out of balance so your your aura 
is also a, a field of integrity so that when you, when you are walking your talk, when you are out there shining, when you're living your sole purpose, you feel in complete balance, harmony, connected. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. And when you're not doing that, then you then you then you'll feel out of balance. You know, so it, the auric field is also a guide. It's a it's a, it's a it's a guiding energy. You know. Why is integrity a fundamental part of your aura? Yeah, I I just think that you know we are brought up in like in a world where it's easy to lie. It's easy to man, to manipulate people. You know, it's easy. It's 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 been conditioned into us. That it's almost like accepted. You know, and yet to actually get out there and to talk the truth or talk your truth and to walk your talk, you know, is um, uh, you know, at first people don't like the truth. People don't like hearing the truth. It's like you know, it's the last thing that they, that they want to hear. You know. Um, and, but, you know, when you, when you are a man of your word, you know, because like, it, like, if you think like what's coming from your, what's coming from your core, you know, is a vibration and that vibration gets interpreted, you know, into, into thoughts and words and, and those words become very, very powerful because they are connected to the core of your being, you know? Mm -hmm. And, and, and those, and, you know, that shifts people. You know, then, so I, that's why I think integrity is, is the fundamental part, actually, of your aura. You know? mm -hmm. No, of course, of course. Um, have you helped anyone with, by reading their auras? Well, I think, I mean, what I've done is, is I've helped people to become aware of their aura. You know, and by being by being aware of the aura, that I've been able to like go away and think, okay, is this how I want to behave, or is this how I want to be seen in the world, or is you know, is 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 this the best I can be? You know, and when people go away and they and they and they have those thoughts, you know, then that's what triggers the change. You know, so. Um, again, like, I don't want to go down the route of reading people's auras and all this sort of stuff because I think that's the old conditioning. Um, to me, it, it's, it's about, you know, do people feel the need to change their vibration, mm. you know, and shine? No, of course, of course. Is there any other guide you can advise people out there in terms of their aura at all? Um, I mean, I think the greatest guide is, is within, you know, I think that, that if people can just find a few moments to sit still, um, and just be with themselves and just start to learn how to feel, you know, just, just, to just to be with themselves and think, you know, am I feeling, what am I feeling? How am I feeling? Why am I feeling like this? Where's it coming from? You know? And just ask those questions. And the more that they do it over time and the more they have a little five minutes here and there, maybe just before you go to sleep, maybe just when you wake up in the morning, you know, maybe when you're sitting in the car just about to go into work or something, you know, the more that you do that, the more you're going to trust in your inner being and your, your energetic self. And with that trust, I promise you, amazing things will happen in your life. From how do you read the aura? I, I, I believe, from what you've said before, I know you seem to have a natural gift for it, but how, how do you do it? I'm just so intrigued. Um, what you do is you tune in with the person. Um, so, like, tuning in normally takes, say, 10 or 15 minutes. Um, and that means that you, like, like I, will, I would normally, um, if I do a session with somebody, that then, then I'm spending... Yeah, 10 or 15 minutes, first of all, doing a guided meditation so that we completely separate ourselves from the world that the person's just come from. Then I do this guided meditation where we like go deep, deep, deep down into your inner core. Um, and then from there, 
we just it's just the the energy becomes one so where we've come from on a spiritual plane is, is a place of singular sing, singularity if i can get the word out um of a place of oneness and we've come to live in this in this planet earth which is a place of duality you know? so everything on this planet is yes no black white you know uh, hot cold you know it, it's it's duality now when we go when i take people in, you know do one of these sessions then we go back to oneness and then when we're in oneness the we're in like the zone and the energy will just flow and the information comes you know um so so we we we're, we're going into a completely different vibration to get to that that place it sounds you, you need it sounds is it something that everybody can learn or is it something you have got to have a kind of natural kind of gift for it if that makes sense i think well i don't know i don't know <laughs> um i think that the more that you open up like like for me it's all it's it's about opening up and trusting so you know i'm i'm talking to you you know on this on this wonderful uk radio you know show you know just opening up and talking about all of this some people might find it very very difficult you know to to come on a radio show and just talk so openly you know so um i think that once you understand that we're all connected it's like the human race is a family we you know we're, we're all brothers and sisters you know um the more that we open up the more that we connect the more that that um that all of this can start to work you know but if you if you don't believe that we're connected if, if you think it's all separated and everything else then it's not going to happen you see no of course have you or are you writing any books at the moment? I am. I am actually. I, I, at the moment, I'm just writing a, like a new book called "Being Awesome." So, instead <laughs> of, so, so, so it's like it's really like you know, awesome. And and the word awesome came to me from one of my from one of my clients. You know? Oh, they, they, yeah. So it was actually like they said to me, like, "What you do is awesome. It's absolutely." And I was like, "Whoa." That's like <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, it's 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 all about the aura and it's all about making yourself, you know, um shine. When are you hoping to get that book out? Um I'm actually I'm, I'm hoping to get it out in the next six months. So it's like, you know, um yeah, yeah, really time to work on it and, and it's funny because you know, it was only two days ago someone said to me the same thing. They said, when is this book coming out? So I feel very much like the book has already been written in the universe, you know, and I've just got to try and get it all out, you know, on, onto paper. So, um, so yeah, it's going to be very interesting. Very interesting. Sounds episode. fantastic, honestly. Um, if people want to connect with you, maybe get some advice or maybe it's something, a service you could provide to them, um, where can they find you? Yeah, I mean, the best thing is go to my website, which is richartauraexpert.com. Um, and, yeah, you can also, like, Google me and you'll find me on Facebook and Instagram and, you know, so it's like... And and the thing is, is that, yeah, I mean, I, I also... I'm also on Insight Timer, which is an app. So I, I do meditations on there as well. And, yeah, you know, if, if people want to... Because I do do, as I say, I paint people's auras onto canvas, and then from there they can use that as a as a as a guided meditation technique with visualization and and vibration. And then during the summer months, I'm like out and about um, uh, outside painting people's auras onto t-shirts. But I don't do that during the winter. It's a little bit. Uh, <laughs> it's not not quite the right weather for that. <laughs> no, of course, Richard. It's been brilliant, you know, coming on the show. Uh, a, a very, you know, absolutely fascinating area. Um, and thank you for your time. 
Well, thank you so much for inviting me. I really, really appreciate it. So You're welcome. Back. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you to our listeners. You know, you can find me on Instagram at GavinJ417. Until next time, take care.